I have some huge announcements to make. I'm leaving. Again. I've made one of these videos before. If you've been around since my zoo days, you would remember that video. So I quit my job. In that video, I announced that I was changing life plans, picking up and moving, and heading into a new career. We're doing it again. Except this time without the picking up and moving part. We just did that into this new house. I'm not ready to move animals anytime soon. However, I am leaving my job at the nature center. And going full time reptile mom. Almost, just about. We're getting there. So I really just jumped right in there. I was gonna like lead up with a couple different things. Nope, we just went head first, right in. So if you weren't following along with the journey on Instagram, I did officially launch my reptile education business after all these years. You guys have been like my biggest supporters, my biggest cheerleaders, and for that, I thank you all so, so much. You have followed me through this journey. For years, you have listened to me say, I'm gonna have my own reptile education business. And for years and years and years and years and years, it didn't quite happen. Main problem is when you work a nine to five, that kind of takes up all of the key time you would have to run an education business. Not only that, but then the pandemic hit and like most people, all of our life plans got put on hold for a year to two years. For me, the plan was buy a house, start my business. Due to the pandemic, the buying the house part kind of got put on delay. But as you guys know, last summer we officially did it. Billy and I bought our house and we didn't quite get to the renovations of the reptile room, but I do have two rooms in this house that are for the reptiles. One is also my office where I keep all of my Etsy stuff, where I edit, where my desk is. So because I have spaces that are mine, that are mine to work out of, that are mine for the animals, I felt ready and comfortable to start this journey. So I spent the winter months when I'm my most busy because of skating, I spent the winter months taking care of the business side of things, getting the license, getting my, whatever it's called, the permission to collect sales tax, whatever. Um, we'll get into that in a second. Looking for insurance, which is finally, finally in the works. That part was the hardest. And that will lead into the next part. Finally, was able to launch. And within the first 24 hours, I think I booked three programs. Three, I think, in the first 24 hours. And then this morning, I officially, or last night, I should say, officially booked my first birthday party. So needless to say, it's been going really, really well. So it did take me a little bit to officially launch as well, not only because of the business side of things, but because I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna handle bookings, also working a nine to five job. And that's when the sign from God came down and made my phone ring. This wonderful insurance agent that's been helping me with my business insurance gave me a call one day just to let me know, you know, I don't have any updates for you yet as far as your insurance goes. However, I want to talk to you about something else. And then he asked me, have you ever considered getting into insurance? My initial reaction was kind of like, does anyone ever plan on getting into insurance? Isn't that something people just kind of end up finding their way into? So I was honest and I was like, no. And honestly, all the numbers and stuff confused me. And he was like, understandable. He's like, however, we've had one phone conversation. And I think you have a great personality. Clearly you can talk to people, especially if you're doing education programs. And I think you're just an overall great human being. You've got a really unique background. So you know lots of people. And I think you'd make a great insurance agent. And I was like, okay, go on. So I was offered a job as an insurance agent because it's also a very flexible job. What you put in is what you get out, which I absolutely love. But the main thing was that it's flexible. Now this guy, he is a professional at his hobby. So where my hobby is reptile keeping, he's got his own hobbies where he's a professional. He travels around the US for it. And so he understood the importance of having a flexible job to be able to do what he loved and knowing that I wanted to do reptile education and what my business was about, he was like, you know, this will work really well. 
for what it is you want to do. Like this guy is awesome. He's very like straightforward, very honest. He's been great. So I went home, I did some research, I thought about it, I talked to family and friends, and ultimately I decided, let's give it a shot. You know, he said, you know, we'll start off, just we'll talk about it, I'll teach you the jobs, you know, we'll look at different policies and I'll explain them to you and show you the back end, how I do things. That way you know for sure whether this is something you want to do or not. We had a couple of Zoom meetings where we went through all of that and I'm actually understanding it better than I expected to. And it's really interesting going through these policies when you actually understand what it is that you're looking at. So after that, I decided, okay, we're gonna give this a go because ultimately the goal is I want to be able to have my education business. That is the dream, that has been the dream. At this point, I'm gonna do what it takes to be able to live that dream. So um, if you need home or auto insurance, hit me up, message me on Instagram, email me, let's let's chat i think we are licensed in 20-ish states from what he told me um but if you're in new york absolutely hit me up and i really honestly can't wait to see where this goes from here i'm actually really excited because i love having challenges like i love having to learn something new and i love it when it challenges me and i have to like really put the work into it so I'm honestly really excited, even though it has nothing to do with animals, I'm really excited. And I do hope that someday I can get to the point where I'm ready to learn business insurance because I've heard from so many of you during this process of getting my own that there's clearly a need for business insurance in the reptile community, like representatives that can represent us as keepers with these insurance companies. And I would absolutely love to do that because, you know, every time I go on a new adventure, get a new job, in my mind I'm thinking, how can I use this to benefit my community? How can I turn around and use this to fit into my field? So that's kind of where I'm like, all right, how can I use insurance now to fit what I went to school for? So I'm starting with home and auto insurance. Homes for reptile keepers, making sure they have the proper coverage because obviously when we keep a ton of animals, we are putting our home in danger, let's be honest. So I would love to be able to work with reptile keepers to make sure their home has proper coverage because I know like our worst fear for all of us is something goes wrong with the electrical and our house is going to burn down and we're going to lose our animals. But then obviously working into business insurance and being able to represent other keepers because who knows reptile businesses better than other reptile keepers. Having someone that can represent our community in this field will be super helpful. So that is my goal, that is my plan. Hopefully it all works out the way I have envisioned it in my mind, but I'm really excited for this new adventure. Now obviously it's gonna take a little bit to get the ball rolling in both of these departments, both my education business and with insurance. So in the meantime, I am going to be getting just a evening retail job just to make sure that I can still pay the bills while I explore these other avenues and get the ball rolling. So as far as my job goes, it might not be very exciting for the summer or the next couple months. But like I said, I'm going to do whatever it takes at this point to be able to do my goals, to be able to reach my goals. Now I said evening. Here's why. Daytime hours. Best time to book programs, both for schools, summer camps, birthday parties, libraries, you name it. All of these are open 9 to 5. A lot of these are happening during the day. So I need to have daytime availability. That way I'm very, very flexible when it comes to booking programs so that I'm not losing anything. What else is fantastic for doing during the day? Filming videos. I haven't been the best at putting up videos lately because I get home from work, I am sweating, I'm covered in turtle water, I need a shower. By the time I clean myself up and look presentable, it is now dark outside and that is not great for filming videos. And the occasion that I have a day or two off here and there, I'm usually spending it doing animal chores. By the time I'm done, I'm tired, I'm gross, I need to work out, I want to shower, and there's just not enough energy or time to film especially when I have skating because that's another full-time job in and of itself. And especially during like the summer and fall, I have to travel for that. Also, Etsy. I closed my Etsy shop, Herpetology, for the remainder of winter because it was just too much trying to stay on top of it, on top of skating, on top of working. It was just too much. So now that skating's done for a little bit, I have reopened the shop, but I haven't put anything new in yet because I'm still just feeling slightly overwhelmed, slightly stressed by everything I have going on. I just feel like there's not enough hours in the day. 
So with this plan, it will also give me the daytime to work on herpetology and my business. So ultimately the goal is to have work in the evenings so I can spend the whole day doing programs, filming videos, making content for Instagram and TikTok, working on herpetology. That way I can build it all up over the summer and hopefully by fall being built up to the point where maybe I don't need an evening retail job. The other exciting thing is now that I have an official business, I have an EIN number, I can collect sales tax, now I can vend at expos with herpetology, which has always been the dream. So now that I'm truly official in the eyes of the state of New York, I can vent. So my goal is this summer to really stock up on different products, different items, have them ready so that in the fall, I can vend at different expos. Cause that has been the dream. Like every time I go to an expo, I just imagine what it would be like to have a table here, to be able to have people see my work, to be able to get my work to more people and to be able to connect with people more. So I am so stoked for all of my life changes. The work's not done yet. It's still gonna take a lot of work. Summer is gonna be like, let's go, go time. But y'all, I am so excited. So those are my humongous life changes. I'm leaving the nature center. I am starting in the insurance field. Who saw that coming? But I also officially have my reptile education business. We're taking bookings. So far it's been super successful and I'm vending in the fall at different expos with herpetology. Like literally, it feels like finally after all of these years of putting in the sweat, the tears, the stress, it is all finally happening and I am so excited you have no idea now i feel like some of you will probably be a little bit bummed because a lot of you follow me because of the fact that i work in the animal field if you've also been following me that long then you know it's been my dream to do this and to have my reptile education business so i hope that you will continue to support me in my dream because i'll definitely be sharing content about having my own reptile education business so if you have any video ideas or things that you want to see around that topic, leave them in the comments and I will make a mental list so when things really get going, I can come back and I can create this content for you guys. All right, so those are the big updates. Thank you all for watching and hopefully you all stick around to continue to see my adventures and how things change and grow. And as always, thank you guys and we'll see you for the next video. Bye.